This video is about this hutch, which I named Como la Flor, which in Spanish means like a flower. That's the translation. And I'm calling her that because she really did bloom like a flower. And you'll see in the end, she's completely different. And in my opinion, beautiful. Time for a makeover. <clears throat> this has been here for a while. It's just a display piece for me. I have t-shirts in here and these really cool safety sasses, glasses, but this needs a new color. It's been hot pink and gold for a long time. So we're gonna start off with Petal Pusher, although I did start out with Prom Queen, but come to find out, I don't have any more. So we're gonna continue with Petal Pusher and see how that goes. So after taking out all of the products that were in the hutch and the pink shelving, I am going to paint the inside of the hutch and I chose the color Queen Bee. It's a beautiful mustardy yellow and I'm going to paint right over the cheetah foil that I had put on this when I originally painted this hutch for the first time. So after I took out all the, the products out of the hutch in the hot pink uh, shelving and while I'm waiting for the yellow in the background to dry, I decided that I would take a hand sponge and lightly distress the blue that I already put on here on the outside of the hutch just to give it that more vintagey, vintagey look. The next step is that I wanted to add this wall flyer or transfer from Ion Orchid Design to the inside of the hutch. So I know that it looks spotty, the yellow, but that is just um, underneath the color that was underneath the 
queen bee color and I wanted it this way because again I wanted it to look distressed. I want this hutch to look like an old boho hutch. Next thing is that I had painted the shelving yellow. I'm letting a little bit of that hot pink come through because I think it adds color and it'll it'll tie in with the colors of the flowers on the inside of the hutch. Also I am blending in some white and I'll probably add a couple of other colors too just to blend it all in and um, of course I've got to distress these as well so a good thing to use for that sometimes is a putty knife so one of the last things to do is to seal it the whole thing I sealed with Big Top. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, um, before I put these florals in on the inside of the hutch, I did seal the paint because it helps with the transfer sticking. So I painted, I sealed, I put on the transfers, and then I sealed again. Because you get so much with these Iron Orchid design transfers, I had flowers left over and I decided that I would put some on the bottom. So this would tie the top to the bottom and it would all be nice and flowy. I did add some, some other colors also, some green and some yellow here and there on the bottom of the hutch. And um, after sealing with the big top, I did seal with um, wax and we distressed the bottom a little bit too including the transfer paper on the bottom lightly sanded with that sponge sander also I want to tell you about the door when this rescue came to me she her door did not have glass or anything and instead of putting in glass we decided that chicken wire would be different and pretty so we went with that <laughs> 